Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the, all the must-have equipments for your ice cream shop so then you can save tens of thousands of dollars on the mistakes that we have made. Previously, I talked about how do you open up your ice cream shop. Today we're going to dive right into all the technicals and all the equipments. So when we first started our ice cream shop, we didn't know any better. So we went to Google to find out what are some of the must-have equipments for our soft-served ice cream shop. And of course, they pointed us to Taylor, which is one of the biggest manufacturers for soft-served ice cream. McDonald's used them, a lot of corporate chains used them. And during this process, they sold us on a machine that they thought was sufficient for us. And that machine cost us $20,000. We bought two of them because we thought it was sufficient. Within three months of time, we had to buy a new machine because it wasn't producing the turnover that we needed to produce. And in turn, we had to pay $40,000 for a brand new machine and retire one of our machine that was cost us $20,000. And in turn, it just cost us a lot of headaches and troubles because it wasn't really what we needed at that time. Um, so that's the reason why I'm shooting this video for you, so then that way you can avoid these mistakes. You can avoid and save yourselves tens of thousands of dollars. And after getting the machine, we also had to pay additional to take apart this counter because our machine wouldn't fit into this counter. And that cost us even more money. So at the end of the day, that's the reason why we're shooting this video, is to help you save tens of thousands of dollars, mistakes that we've learned along the way, and lessons that I'm going to be sharing with you right now. Lesson number one is that there are a lot of great second-hand equipment out there. If you want to start lean, if you want to try and improve your concept, buying second-hand equipment is something that I personally would recommend. Some people don't like it because there's no warranty. But if you go to your local second-hand shops, a lot of them actually provide you with at least one to two years of warranty for your second-hand equipment. Do not go on Craigslist because at the end of the day, you don't know what's going on. Um, so I would highly recommend you guys going to your local secondhand equipment shops. They have amazing, great stuff, and they do provide warranties. A second resource is that you can go on auction sites. A lot of companies actually go out of business, and their equipment is so brand spanking new, and you can definitely find some really good gems there. So definitely, if you have an opportunity, buy secondhand equipment until you've proven your concept, until you've proven the fact that you your ice cream shop can scale, can have multiple locations. This would save you tons of money to begin with. The second lesson that we have learned is to do your research. That's the reason why you're here. That's the reason why you're watching this video, because you want to learn. And I want to congratulate you on this, because for us, we didn't do enough research. That's the reason why we ended up cheaping out and buying equipment that didn't fit our needs right away. So for you, find out what is your bottom line. Find out what is your money maker and do not cheap out on your money maker. The rest of the items, let's say for example coolers, let's say for example ice machine, those things you can actually cheap out on. But your money maker, the thing that is going to produce your real product, things that's going to prevent you to have bottlenecks within your business, that is something that you should not cheap out on. Do your research and you're going to save tens of thousands of dollars moving forward. Enough of the rants, enough of the stories. Right now we're going to dive right into all the equipments that you need. Right there. That's basically the machine that we're talking about that is the gravity machine. And that's going to cost you around $20,000. This machine is going to cost you $40,000 and it's going to produce much higher output. And these are the must-have if you're looking into building a soft-serve ice cream machine um, business. Under the counter cooler, this is something that is necessary because you're going to keep all your batches of goods, all your ingredients, um, basically everything you're going to be able to use on a daily basis during operation. This is going to cost you around $3,000. It's a must-have for your ice cream shop. The third equipment that you need is... The third type of equipment that you need is an upright cooler, which is going to be around $3,000. This is where you're going to be putting all your batch equipment, all your milk, all your batches and everything like that. So those were the operational, pure basic equipment that you need for your ice cream shop. Right now, I want to show you the second batch of equipment that you may potentially need. Because at the end of the day, selling ice cream itself is only going to get you so much in terms of revenue. The average ticket cost is going to be too low for you to have enough margins to sustain your business. So if you're looking into making more money, definitely include more variety 
of items in your food menu. So now we're gonna dive right in. For you to be able to serve drinks, it's gonna definitely increase your average ticket cost and ticket item, hence more margins and more profits for you. Right now we have blenders, which is around $1,000. Ice maker, which is essential for you to make any drinks and to serve any drinks, this is around $2,000. Hot water machine, another 500 bucks, and taiyaki machine. So at the end of the day, if you would want to offer food, uh, having taiyaki, waffle machine, whatever the case may be, quick items that your customers can grab and go is essential for you to be able to have a, um, a higher average ticket cost, hence more revenue. This is around $2,000 right here. So these are the second batch of must-have equipments for your ice cream shop. The third batch of equipment that you need for your ice cream shop, I personally would really recommend for a to-go display counter cooler. Because the reason why is because people can grab these and they can grab it to go. They can grab their items to go. And why would we want to do that? Once again, this will increase your average ticket cost and it will also increase your revenue. So this is something that I definitely must recommend. Um, it's not a must have, but I would highly recommend that because in the long trajectory of your business, this would make back your money in no time. This thing costs us $3,000 and it has been an amazing investment. And of course, you would want to have your POS system so then that way you can, um, people can create a credit card and everything. And also, a camera system. The reason why we would want to have a camera system is for loss then loss fat prevention. At the end of the day, if you're running your business, you're not always going to be there. You'd want to have um, your team there to help you monitor your business. And this is a really good way to keep track of them to make sure that they are doing things that they need to do. It is crucial for you to find all the equipments you need for your shop right from the get-go because it will save you so much time, energy, and money when it comes to dealing with the city permits, with the electricals. For us, we had to spend another $5,000 when we had this new machine because the outlet was not the same. And on top of that, it just allows you to save so much in your budgeting and that you won't be over budget. Um, so at the end of the day, I really hope this has helped you. I really hope that this has given, given you some insight into some of the equipments that you need for your shop. I've attached the checklist in the link below so then that way you can go over it for our ice cream shop and that way it would help you out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to have any questions or if you want us to go over anything else in the future, comment below. Otherwise, subscribe along the journey. I'll see you guys in the next video.